Good morning, friends. As we head into another day of loving the Lord, I just ask God's blessings on your life. I pray that you find joy and peace and the strength and motivation to be like Christ today. Continuing our look at the story leading up to Joshua 10, uh, I think of Joshua. Uh, I just watched a really great football game Monday night, and uh, Matt Jones, who was the Alabama quarterback, came on in the same class as Tua Tagovailoa and came on with Jalen Hurts just having one freshman of the rookie of the year for the SEC. And uh, he came into a situation where he knew he was going to wait. Uh, Paul Tyson, Bear Bryant's grandson, is in the same place at Alabama right now. And with all of this happening, I just think, that there's something to be said for waiting. Uh, Joshua was one of two spies who saw what God saw when they entered the promised land. And in spite of that, he and Caleb had to walk through the desert for 30, for 40 years with the rest of them and watch all their friends and all their relatives and all their colleagues die off. And then at the end of that trauma, he left Egypt as a young man, and he was much older now. At the end of that trauma, God said, you're going to lead my people. And he had seen people die by the thousands because of plagues and punishment. He had seen people who should have been nice to them be mean to them. He had seen everything that could go wrong go wrong. And God said, now you're going to conquer the land. Mac Jones was told to go somewhere else where he could play. He could have started at Kentucky. Um, he could have made other choices, but he kept doing the work. And I think that's what happened in the desert. Joshua learned to do the work. He watched Moses. He followed Moses. Moses would go into the tabernacle. Joshua would be at the door. And that mentoring and that friendship with admittedly a man who had been broken probably had a great deal of influence on how he lived and how he led. So God prepared him in those times of failure, in those times of waiting, in those times of thinking nothing was going to change. God prepared him for what he was going to do. I really believe in all the things we've gone through, and there are many different stories in our church. God has prepared us for the things that God is going to do in 2021. So let's pick it up. Let's do the work. And let's seek, let's seek God's best in our lives. Pray with me. Lord, for the times we failed and the times we failed to finish. For the times we felt like we were doing our best and no one else cared. For the times that only you saw value in. We thank you. We ask that you help us to do the work and to seek your face and to pray like it all depends on you and work like it all depends on us so that you might be glorified, so that we might lead others to you, so that your kingdom might go forward. Amen. I love you. Going to eat lunch at 1130 at Dynasty Buffet. Would love to have you join us. And then tonight at 7, we're going to continue our walk through Sun Stand Still. See you then.